Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Still having that old, uh, bad setup issue where my microphone is like 50 feet away from my computer because it still makes that loud buzzing noise. Oh, let me adjust the mic. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm tilting, tilting, tilting. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait till I get a new computer. But I have a job now, so it should only be like a month or two. I'm making like 280 a month because I only work like five or ten hours a week of uh, five hours for two days. It's a part-time job and I'm half blind, so what are you gonna do? I hopefully I'll find something full-time when I have a computer yet, though. Something at home preferably, because I can't drive. So maybe I could find an at-home job, and now that I learned how to do digital art, I can do art commissions, so I can get all this cool money coming in from cool places once I get a new computer. And that'll be, that'll be neat! That'll be neat. But, um, anyways, we're here to talk about universes, because this is the universes episode commentary. And this, this was the final nail in the coffin for any Tekken Cross Street Fighter matchups. <laughs> Because, you know, I thought it would be close. I really did. I was like, you know, I hear lots of good things about Guile, and Paul is pretty low tier in the Tekken verse, right? Um, but not only is Tekken's low tier stronger than Street Fighter's top tier, but also Paul isn't even low tier. Paul is like mid tier up with Lars and stuff because I realized that in order for Paul to even get to Ogre, who he canonically faced, um, he had to have gotten through Heihachi. I mean, I know anyone can fight Ogre in arcade mode, like, even Xiaoyu can fight Ogre if you play arcade mode with her, but that's not canon. The only one besides Jin that has canonically faced Ogre is Paul Phoenix, and Paul beat his first form. And to even get to Ogre canonically, you have to get through Heihachi. I mean, in the cutscene before Ogre transforms into true Ogre, Heihachi's already on the ground unconscious, meaning that if you got to Ogre, you did in fact beat Heihachi. It's not just the match is set in order. Heihachi canonically comes before Ogre. <laughs> so it's not just the way arcade mode is set up. That's the actual canon story. So Paul, Paul did beat Heihachi. And it does make sense too because he did rival Kazuya in the early days. I mean, Paul definitely doesn't rival Kazuya now. Paul would get slaughtered by Kazuya. But um, in Tekken 1, 2, Paul rivaled Kazuya. Like when he was still, I mean, he still had the devil gene and all that, but he, he didn't have it mastered. Like in Tekken 4, that's when Kazuya had it mastered thanks to G Corp and the M cell research and the all this all this interesting sciencey lore stuff. It, I think it's interesting how Tekken has like its own science, own sciences and stuff, like the devil gene, the M cell, all this interesting things. But yeah, because of that, um, because of beating Heihachi. It puts Paul way up there, like uh, pre Tekken 7 Heihachi, because Tekken 7 Heihachi got a huge upgrade, and now he's top tier. And stuff like Tekken 6 and before Heihachi was mid tier in the Tekken verse, and that's where Paul is because he scales to pre Tekken 7 Heihachi. So if Paul if Paul ever beats Heihachi again in like Tekken 8 or something, Paul will be a top tier Tekken character. Oh wait. Pfft. Heihachi's dead. Oops. <laughs> Heihachi's dead. What's Heihachi gonna be doing in Tekken 8? Oh well, Paul lost his chance to be a top tier, unless he rivals Kazuya again. Um, but as for Guile... Guile is such a prominent character in Street Fighter. He's not one of the lesser guys like, uh, Balrog or, um, Ibuki. He's not one of the lesser guys. Guile is one of the main guys. He's been there since Street Fighter 2. He's as main as Chun-Li, Ken, Ryu, Akuma. He's as in there as all those big guys, and yet he really doesn't have much. Like, even Chun-Li has more than Guile does. Chun-Li has more than Guile, Ryu has more than Guile, Ken has more than Guile, and Bison has more than Guile. And Guile is one of the most prominent characters in the series, yet he barely has anything, so... It's just kind of upsetting. Uh... So, yeah. I'm not sure of any, like, Street Fighter characters that could be... Tekken characters because the verses are so different in power. It's like, uh, I'm trying to think of something. It's like Naruto to Dragon Ball, pretty much. Like, I don't know any Naruto characters that can beat Dragon Ball. Well, I mean, Jiraiya could probably beat Roshi because of hacks and stuff, like turning him into a frog, but 
Chun Li to sneak I don't know if, how any characters, characters can match them in raw strength. I mean, Street Fighter characters don't exactly have any of those hacks that can beat the Tekken characters. I mean, they do have the Raging Demon with Ryu and Akuma, which destroys the soul of the victim. But as we've seen with Heihachi, apparently you can just be strong enough to withstand it. <laughs> so yeah, Raging Demon isn't exactly going to help. Um, but yeah, so this was the final nail in the coffin for Street Fighter Cross Tekken matchups. I mean, Street Fighter characters have won before, as we've seen with Ryu vs. Knuckles. Um, but I don't think we've... <clears throat> Where was I going with this? My mind trailed off. But I don't think Tekken is a verse Street Fighter should be fighting anymore in universes. I'll find much better and fun matchups for Street Fighter. Uh, let's see, let's see. Up next is also Bayonetta versus Shadow. And a surprising amount of people are confused about the similarities. Um, they both have a black and red color scheme. They both manipulate time. They both have amnesia at some point, And they're both gunslingers. There, there's a lot of very specific yet interesting similarities to them, and it, it honestly makes more sense of a matchup than Dante vs. Bayonetta to me, besides just hack and slash games by the same guy. I mean, then you could put it like Yoshi vs. King K. Rule, because Mario and Donkey Kong are both platformers made by, directed by the same guy, Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> Dante vs. Bayonetta because Hideki Kamiya. Yoshi vs. Donkey Kong because Shigeru Miyamoto. Yada yada. <laughs> so yeah, it's... I think Shadow vs. Bayonetta is a, most, is a more interesting one. Oh, and also, they're both Sega properties, like Shadow is Sonic Team, Bayonetta is Platinum Games, but they're both licensed by Sega, so... Well, look at that. Both Sega properties. So, that's another similar. They have five similarities. Gunslingers, memory issues, black and red, uh, time manipulation, and Sega properties. Wow. Why has no one done this matchup before? Well, I'm sure some people have done this matchup before, but mostly it's like Ryoko versus Bayonetta. What do they have besides black and red? Yeah, nothing. Ryuko isn't even that hot. Bayonetta's hot. Ryuko's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore. But yeah, Bayonetta vs. Shadow is next. And Shadow's a pretty cool character, actually. Uh, well, in Sonic Adventure 2, he was okay. <laughs> Everything after is sort of just emo nonsense. I mean, even though the Shadow of the Hedgehog game was filled to the brim with overly edgy nonsense, I mean, Shadow himself was still pretty neato. Because he was he didn't... It was like a Sonic character that didn't care. Like, before with Sonic, we've always had good and bad. There's no ever neutral. I mean, Knuckles started out bad, but then he went to Sonic's side. There was no... Well, Knuckles didn't really start off bad. He was good the whole time. He was just tricked by Eggman, but you know what I mean. There was no true neutral Sonic character until Shadow came. He's just looking out for himself, and that was pretty cool. That was cool and edgy to me at the time. And... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Dante vs. Ba <coughs> Bayonetta vs. Shadow is next. And this is Paul vs. Guile. This is a really confused and tired episode commentary. Leopold the Brave out. Now I gotta go uh, crawl over and pause the or stop the recording. <coughs>